HealthCast, a survey just released today reveals just how people are using technology to improve their heart health. The survey by, survey by the Cleveland Clinic found that 50% of Americans use at least one type of wearable device to monitor changes in heart rhythm and blood pressure. Usually this data will allow you to provide a good amount of representation about what patients are doing at home. So for example, if you're trying to determine whether someone has high blood pressure or not, um, these devices are able to oftentimes automatically record these variables. And when a patient presents themselves, as opposed to just having an isolated reading in a doctor's office, you know, they're able to provide a wealth of data. In fact, 53% of survey respondents also said the devices said the devices could actually help them to exercise more regularly. And the local chapter of the American Heart Association is joining forces with the Miami Marlins and Lone Depot Park to encourage us all to learn CPR training. They've installed a special hands-on kiosk now, which provides instruction in both English and Spanish to kick off the Caribbean season. They're expecting over half a million people internationally to come in for this series. And so the reach of the CPR kiosk is going to be beyond our South Florida walls. Marisol Garcia is the executive director of the local chapter of the AHA and says this is the only bilingual CPR kiosk in the entire world. It's right here in South Florida and it will be at the baseball stadium today through February the 15th. And that is when the series concludes. Important.